Imagine a bridge so tall that it dwarfs skyscrapers, suspended above a canyon so deep it could swallow the Eiffel Tower whole. A bridge so ambitious, so complex, and so futuristic, it's setting records before it's even completed. Welcome to the Huajiang Bridge in Guizhou, China. A marvel of engineering, a feat of modern construction, and a testament to China's determination to conquer nature with steel and concrete. This isn't just a bridge. This is a global engineering milestone in the making. In today's video, we're going beyond the blueprints and renderings to explore the Huajiang Bridge like never before, zooming into its massive scale, mind-bending design, regional importance, construction methods, budget, environmental impact, and the groundbreaking technologies that are bringing it to life. If you're fascinated by mega-projects, captivated by futuristic tech, or just love watching humans do the impossible, then pause for a second and smash that subscribe button right now. It's the best way to support content like this and stay in the loop on the world's most unbelievable infrastructure stories. Where is the Huajiang Bridge? The Huajiang Bridge is being constructed in Guizhou Province, tucked deep in the heart of southwest China. It spans the Huajiang Canyon along the Huajiang River, carving its path through one of the most scenic yet challenging landscapes in the world. This region is no stranger to altitude. Guizhou is covered in steep, jagged karst formations, geological masterpieces that are both beautiful and brutal. These vertical landscapes make travel difficult and infrastructure development even harder. For decades, Guizhou's potential has been locked behind these rugged cliffs and winding valleys. Traditional roads struggle to survive the terrain. Seasonal weather, like heavy rains and fog, can cripple transportation. But now, with the Huajiang Bridge as a new arterial link, the region is preparing to leap into the future. Why build it here, you might ask? Why even attempt a project this extreme in such an unforgiving place? The answer lies in strategy. Guizhou has long lagged behind China's coastal powerhouses, while cities like Shanghai, Shenzhen, and Beijing surged ahead with exports and tech. Inland provinces like Guizhou were left on the sidelines. The Chinese government is determined to fix that, and infrastructure is the key. Roads and bridges don't just move vehicles, they move opportunity. By placing the Huajiang Bridge in this canyon, Planners are eliminating a major obstacle that has long separated communities, limited trade, and hindered growth. The bridge is a critical link in the Liuji Anlong Expressway, a 124-kilometer superhighway that will cut travel time across the mountains from hours to mere minutes. It connects urban centers, rural villages, industrial hubs, and tourist destinations all in one sweep. Subscribe now if you believe in the transformative power of engineering. We're just getting started. Design and Structure – A Record-Breaking Giant This bridge is not just useful, it's historic. Once completed, the Huajiang Bridge will hold the title of the world's highest arch bridge. With a jaw-dropping vertical drop of 625 meters, or about 2,051 feet, from the deck to the river below, it beats out global icons like Colorado's Royal Gorge Bridge and Italy's Siduhe Grand Bridge. To visualize that height, it's taller than the One World Trade Center, it's nearly double the height of the Eiffel Tower, and it's all suspended above an untouched canyon floor, supported by an arch with a staggering 1,420-meter span, making it one of the longest steel arch bridges in existence. The bridge follows a steel truss arch design. This style was selected because of its unparalleled ability to handle compression forces while covering massive distances. The arch is not just a support. It's a muscle flexing against gravity, wind, and even earthquakes. 
Designers had to consider not just vertical loads from vehicles and wind shear, but also the expansion and contraction of metal over temperature swings. At this size, even thermal shifts of a few degrees can move segments by centimeters. The price tag. Budgeting for the future. So how much does an engineering dream like this cost? The total investment for the Huajiang Bridge clocks in at approximately 1.56 billion yuan, or around 240 million U.S. dollars. Now, that might sound relatively modest compared to some Western megaprojects, but context is everything. China's infrastructure model operates differently. The country's vertically integrated construction companies, efficient workforce mobilization, and state-backed financing allow for massive projects at competitive costs. In Guizhou alone, China has already completed dozens of record-breaking bridges. The teams behind Huajiang have experience working in extreme terrain with a limited access, which significantly reduces risk and delays. The equipment, logistics, and human capital are all optimized to handle high-stakes operations like this. Make sure you're subscribed. We cover how China builds faster and cheaper without cutting corners in an upcoming video. What materials make this monster possible? You can't build the tallest arch bridge in the world using standard concrete and steel. The Huajiang Bridge is crafted from ultra-high performance materials. The steel is not only high strength, it's fatigue-resistant, weather-adaptive, and engineered to reduce micro-cracking over decades of use. Every section is prefabricated, transported with precision, and assembled on-site with robotic assistance. As for the concrete, it's custom-mixed with additives that resist corrosion, water damage, and heat variation. Aggregates are sourced locally to minimize emissions and match to the region's geology. The pylons are embedded deep into the cliff walls, anchored with micropiles and reinforced earth systems to withstand shifting soil layers and seismic tremors. This is construction with both brute strength and surgical precision. Engineering challenges. Let's talk about the elephant in the canyon. How do you even build something like this? First, there's the problem of accessibility. Some work sites are reachable only by cable car, rope, or drone. Materials have to be airlifted or sent across temporary suspension lines. Engineers and workers navigate vertical drops and landslides on a daily basis. Then there's the challenge of wind. At 600 meters above ground, gusts can reach extreme velocities. The bridge must not only hold firm, it must flex, twist, and self-stabilize. Extensive wind tunnel testing, digital twin simulations, and real-world load experiments have all been conducted to ensure safety. Alignment is another nightmare. Each half of the arch was constructed from opposite sides of the canyon. Bringing them together required AI modeling, laser tracking, and thermal compensation algorithms. When the final segment locked in, it was accurate to within three millimeters. Imagine standing hundreds of meters above the earth, watching two steel arms reaching across the void and watching them meet perfectly in the air. The future of construction. The Huajiang Bridge isn't just a bridge. It's a tech lab. Drones equipped with LiDAR scanners map every bolt and beam in real time. Robotic welders work along scaffolds hanging in mid-air, unaffected by wind, weather, or fatigue. AI systems predict material stress under thousands of scenarios and direct real-time decision-making. Even the cranes are smart, GPS-guided and automated, capable of inch-perfect placement of 100-ton components. The site itself is monitored by a digital twin, a real-time 3D simulation that tracks every variable from weather and load conditions to team deployment. This is more than construction. This is data-driven, machine-augmented innovation. If this excites you, make sure you're subscribed. We cover next-gen tech in construction and civil engineering every week. Project Timeline. Speed meets precision. Work on the Huajiang Bridge began in 2022. 
and believe it or not, the project is scheduled to wrap up by 2026. Just four years from groundbreaking to completion. That's lightning fast for a bridge of this scale. Some major bridges take eight to ten years. So how is this happening so quickly? The answer lies in prefabrication, 24-7 work shifts, AI coordination, and China's streamlined project management. Components are built off-site in parallel, while foundation work happens on-site. Crews work in rotation to keep progress moving day and night. Think of it as an orchestra, every section playing in harmony, guided by a conductor with algorithms instead of a baton. Environmental impact. Let's not forget the ecological side. The Huajiang Canyon is rich in biodiversity, with plant and animal species found nowhere else. Building a massive structure here risks major environmental damage. But planners have taken significant steps to minimize the footprint. Because the bridge is suspended so high, it avoids cutting roads through sensitive ecosystems. Acoustic panels reduce sound disturbance to birds and animals. Slope stabilization systems protect against landslides. Every concrete mix is reviewed for water runoff impact. And independent environmental audit teams inspect progress at every stage. This bridge isn't bulldozing through nature. It's floating over it. Global Comparisons So how does the Huajiang Bridge compare to other global icons? Take the Beipanjiang Bridge, also in Guizhou, which once held the record for the world's highest bridge. Or the Milau Viaduct in France, famed for its elegance and complexity. Huajiang beats both in key metrics, vertical height, structural span, and construction innovation. It's not just tall. It's one of the longest arch bridges. It's also one of the most technologically advanced. And when completed, it will be one of the fastest built megastructures in modern history. In the world of bridge engineering, Huajiang is a new benchmark. How it changes lives. Now here's the most important part. What this bridge means to people. For Guizhou's residents, it means fewer hours commuting and more time with family. It means job opportunities in nearby cities. It means school children reaching classrooms without hiking treacherous paths. It means ambulances getting to patients on time. And for the local economy? It's a game changer. Tourism is already surging, property values are climbing, and logistics companies are eyeing new distribution centers. What was once an isolated region is becoming a gateway. This isn't just concrete and steel. It's opportunity. It's progress. Engineering the future. The Huajiang Bridge is more than a record breaker. It's a symbol. A symbol of what's possible when vision, technology, and purpose align. It represents a new chapter in human engineering, where machines and people come together to solve the unsolvable. From daring heights to digital construction, from remote mountain villages to the global spotlight. The Huajiang Bridge proves that infrastructure is more than just utility. It's inspiration. And in a world that needs smarter transportation, greener solutions, and stronger connections, this bridge is a bold step forward. So what do you think? Would you dare to drive across the highest arch bridge in the world? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Like the video, if you've learned something incredible. And most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Your support helps us keep exploring the world's biggest, boldest, and most mind-blowing mega projects. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this has been Kim Lude Media.